Hello and welcome. Once again, people ask me what is confidence and there are various reasons. There can be various steps to building confidence. But to me, many a times I pause and try and ponder about what should be confidence. To me, knowledge is confidence. If you have knowledge, I think it is a confidence, but that isn't enough. So today, what we are going to do is we are going to stress enough on how to build confidence with tips and tricks, all that are practical in today's scenario. So let's take a dig at how to build self-confidence. Having high self-confidence can benefit your professional life from your very first to your last job. Demonstrating self-confidence can help you make a positive impression in the workplace, whether it is with your interviewer, supervisor, co-workers or other individuals you interact with in professional settings. In this particular shoot, we will explore why self-confidence is important in our career and give you examples of how to develop this quality. So why is self-confidence important? Self-confidence prepares you to perform at your best in interviews. When you approach an interview with a confidence in your skills and personality, you focus less on comparing yourself to other candidates and place more emphasis on answering questions effectively and delivering your prepared responses. With self-confidence, you can better demonstrate your ability to accomplish tasks and achieve goals in the workplace. Self-confidence can also benefit your work well beyond the interview. By building your confidence, you can approach problems in a calm and focused manner that allows you to clearly think through possible solutions. Self-confidence in the workplace also helps you more effectively. More effectively communicate with supervisors and colleagues and others. How to build self-confidence? Building self-confidence requires reflecting on your current self-perception and developing habits that promote a positive self-image. Here are a few ways you can build this trait. Focus on yourself. Construct a positive self-image. Do something challenging every day. Prioritize self-care. Rethink rejection. First, let's talk about focus on yourself. While you may be competing against other candidates for job opportunities, it's important to focus only on the qualities and experiences you bring to the workplace to avoid comparing yourself to others. Consider listing all of your positive qualities unique experiences and helpful skills to remind yourself what you offer. Recognizing your individuality can help you see the advantages of your particular experiences and perspectives. Also, identify the goals you want to achieve in your career and current or future roles. As you prepare for an interview, begin a new job or complete your daily tasks. Use those goals to remind you of what you want to accomplish. You can build self-confidence by identifying the goals you have already achieved and the ones you are close to reaching. For goals that are further in the future, consider listing the steps you have to take to reach them and what steps you have already taken to get closer to your goal. These reminders can help you see the hard work you have already completed and how far you have already come. Second, construct a positive self-image. Developing a positive view of yourself can begin with limiting comparison to others. But this process also requires further self-reflection and actively adjust your mindset. Start constructing a positive self-image by imagining yourself as the person you want to be. Visualize yourself in the position you are interviewing for, with the skills you want and the network you are building. Once you have crafted a positive image of yourself, consider engaging in self-affirmation activities. 
Self affirmation involves saying positive and uplifting statements to yourself to challenge whatever negative thoughts may be in your mind. For example, if you are nervous about an interview, state to yourself the skills and accomplishments that you will bring to that discussion. In the workplace, if you take on a new project or apply for a promotion, you might make self-affirming statements like I am qualified or I am successful person. Self-affirmation helps you build a confident version of yourself that can likely lead you to professional success. Number three, do something challenging every day. Directly confronting your fears can help you build confidence to face the unknown. Be self-reflective about the things that discourage you and try to confront one of those things every day. Even if those challenges do not directly relate to your career development, the confidence you can build by confronting them can transfer to the workplace. You can also try to directly face the apprehensions you may have about your interview, job or career. If for example you are concerned that you will struggle to answer certain questions, practice answering those questions with a friend or a family. If you are nervous about meeting new people in your workplace, make it a point to introduce yourself to someone in another department. Number fourth. Prioritize self-care. Since both your mental and physical health can affect your confidence, you should prioritize caring for yourself. Make a habit of exercising, eating a healthy and balanced diet and getting plenty of sleep. Take time to do something you enjoy every day like taking up an old hobby or starting a new one. Consider also finding ways to practice self-care while at work by stretching at your desk and taking brief breaks throughout the day. In addition to maintaining strong mental and physical health, you should also prioritize your social health. Spending an evening with good friends or going to dinner with family can strengthen interpersonal skills that could help you work better with colleagues. You can also make an effort to invite co-workers out for social gatherings outside of the workplace to further improve your working relationships. Rethink rejection. Rejection is sometimes part of the interview process, but adjusting your view of rejection can help you have confidence as you approach future interviews. If you're not offered one job, Try to focus on the ways in which you improved or succeeded in the interview. Perhaps you had confident posture and answered a tough question thoughtfully. You can also view this no as a next opportunity as it can also be interpreted as learning opportunity to better understand how you can improve your interviewing skills. Consider reaching out to the hiring manager to thank them for their time and consideration as well as to ask for constructive feedback. Changing your perspective of rejection to view it as something often out of your control can help diminish the fear of being told no. This mental shift can help you to be more self-confident as you approach other interviews because you understand that rejection is not necessarily a reflection of your experience or character. So I'm very sure by laying down few things that, that are most practical, doable and accessible in case if you are doing it very consciously, just follow the process. Always have a focus on what you can do what you have done good and just streamline those efforts once along the course if you are marching ahead with these consciousness in place i'm very sure it's just a matter of time that you'll click with getting enough confidence within you and this should help you to maybe take 
everything that comes your way upbeat and head on with any any competitors or within the company also self confidence is the key but how to build it i think we have laid down the five clear tips and this would certainly go a long way in helping you to find your own self confidence which should work for you in your career so take this seriously and practice thank you